braided fishing line has become really, really popular in the last several years. And a lot of people really don't know that much about braided fishing line, when to use it or how to use it or how big a line to use. And I tell you what, what a good rule of thumb is if you're fishing in the springtime, if a lake's flooded and you're fishing a lake like, say, Sam Rayburn or Toledo Bend or Lake Fork, Okeechobee, some of the lakes down on the Texas border like Falcon or Amistad or Sugar Lake where we've been fishing today where you have the opportunity to catch a really, really big giant fish, that is the perfect time you want to use braided light. Anytime you got a chance to catch a big fish that might get in heavy cover and might get you tangled up and, and break ordinary fishing line. What about pound test? Well, really, uh, I prefer 50 pound tests. I use High Seas Grand Slam Braid, 50 pound more than anything else. I use that as a flipping line. I use it on spinner baits when I'm in uh, really heavy cover, an opportunity to catch really big fish. And uh, you can move up to 65 or 80 pound, which a lot of people do, but you get a little bit larger diameter. And in doing that larger diameter, it's a lot more difficult to make good, accurate casts. You can't make as long a cast. You got your lines a little bit heavier. When you think about moving from 50 to 65, doesn't sound like much. That's like moving from a 15 pound test line to a 30 pound line. When you talk about moving from 50 to 80, that's like moving from 10 pound test line to 40 pound test line. So it's a huge, huge difference. Another time you want to think about braided line is on spinning reels. Absolutely fantastic on spinning reels. 20 pound test braided line is only six pound diameter. So even crappie fishing, now you might want to put a little fluorocarbon or a little monofilament leader on it to tie your road runner to, but 20 pound test on, bra on spinning reel, absolutely fantastic. And you won't lose near as many road runners.